If you're stuck at home and you're looking for projects to keep yourself and the kids busy, why not start a garden? Now's a good time to plant early spring vegetables that can harvest in just a few weeks. Today on You Can Grow It, our garden master Jim Duthie shows us how to get a small garden started right now, either outdoors or indoors, no matter how much space you have. The spread of the coronavirus has disrupted most of our normal activities and routines. So if you find yourself self-quarantined or you're staying at home with the family and looking for things to do, gardening is a great activity for the whole family. Even though spring is finally here, the weather is still too chilly for most garden plants, but it's the perfect time to plant cool weather vegetables outside as well as starting some plants indoors. I started my tomatoes and peppers inside a few weeks ago, along with some flower seeds like marigolds and zinnias. They're already big enough to transfer into small pots where they'll continue to grow until the weather is warm enough for them to be planted outside in the garden. But today I'm going to plant some onions and radishes. These vegetables thrive in the cool weather of early spring, along with other crops like lettuce, spinach, turnips, and peas. I haven't had a chance to get my garden beds ready for planting yet, so I'm going to plant these onions and radishes in a container that will sit just outside my back door. And since they're considered companion plants, they'll grow just fine planted close together. I found a variety of bunching onions called Warrior, which is suited for container planting. I also found a type of radish that grows well in containers called French Breakfast. Unlike typical round radishes, they'll grow longer like a small carrot. My container was filled with fine organic soil that's perfect for sprouting seeds. Since these seeds are small, they only need to be planted about a half inch deep. You can make a shallow furrow or just press the seeds gently into the soil. The onions need to be spaced about three inches apart so they'll have room to bunch as they grow. But the radishes can be planted closer together about an inch apart. With a little water and some March sunshine, the radishes will grow quickly in about four to seven days and they'll be ready to pick by about mid-April. The onions take about 10 days to sprout and they'll be ready to pick by mid to late May. If you're short on space outside, try planting a microgreen garden indoors. I started these a couple of weeks ago. It's a mixture of different types of lettuce, but you can grow lots of things as microgreens, even radish seeds. Lindsay Schramm at North End Organic Nursery explains more about microgreens. Microgreens are a stage in between a sprout and a full-grown plant. So they, they're kind of considered like the toddler of the plant world. Pretty much anything where you would eat the plant itself in the process of growing it can be used as a microgreen. All you need is some soil, a container of any kind, water, and a little bit of light. Put them some soil in them, sprinkle your seeds on top, water them, give them the light that they need, and seven to 21 days from now, you've got instant salad microgreens. My microgreens are just about ready to harvest. I'll cut them off at soil level and use them in salads or on sandwiches. Then I'll replant the tray and grow some more. Try planting a couple of containers a week or two apart for a constant harvest. Simple garden projects like these are great for the whole family to do together. They also provide worthwhile educational activities for the kids during these weeks when they're out of school. They'll have fun and learn about nature by planting the seeds and watching them grow, and they'll probably be more likely to eat these vegetables since they grew them themselves. For Idaho's News Channel 7, and you can grow it, I'm Jim Duthie. Now you can find all the seeds and growing supplies you need at local garden centers, but if you don't want to venture out to the store, you can buy everything you need online right now. That's probably not a bad idea. And be sure to join Jim's You Can Grow It group on Facebook. You can share gardening photos, ask questions, share gardening tips with other gardeners. You can also text the word GROW to area code 208-321-5614. And we're going to send you a link. If you do that on your cell phone, we'll send you a link to the You Can Grow It webpage and Facebook group.